What's the announcement you said you have coming soon? Uh... Another baby soon? Have y'all been taking a step away from social media? I feel like you haven't been posting as much. If y'all had another kid, would you want it to be a boy or a girl? Hello! Hi. It's been a long time since we have done a Q&A, and today we have a lot of things that we want to answer because we have a huge announcement that we want to share with you guys soon. But it can't be today, <laughs> but because of that, we have a lot of questions that we wanted to answer about being parents, about our lives and our future. So Just where we're at right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly, the whole, the exactly. The whole shebang. The whole shebang. Question number one, go. What's your favorite baby stage? I really love that question. Now. Now. Now is always the right answer for yeah. me because it just gets better and better and better and better. But I will say for anyone that's wondering, so that it's like a more real answer, probably after she turned like eight months old, yeah, that's when all the fun stuff started happening. She started saying, dad, dad. She's laughing a ton. She's really close to walking. Like thing after thing after thing after thing. And it's just so exciting and so fun. I agree. I think after we got out of the newborn phase, every month has just been like so much better. Seeing her personality come out more and we're getting to know her more and it's just been really, really fun. Mm -hmm. Question number two. What's the announcement you said you have coming soon? Uh, well, it's still coming soon, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> But we, we just kind of want to wait a little bit longer before we share. There's a reason why. There's a reason why. Yes, exactly. And it has to do, I'll give a hint, it has to do with a celebration that's coming up in about two months. That is true. Ah, okay. That's fair. Yeah. Ah. How far away is Addie's first birthday? Two months. <laughs> two months away. June 16th. If you guys have any cute baby themed birthday parties, Bring them on over. Yeah, comment them down below. Still Ideas for Addie's first birthday party. It's gonna be crazy. Have y'all been taking a step away from social media? I feel like you haven't been posting as much. I feel like it wasn't necessarily a conscious decision to take a step away from social media. It kind of just happened. Mm -hmm. We didn't take a huge step away, like we still make videos, but it is true, like our videos are now spaced out more than they were before. Our plan moving forward is to post a lot more, be a lot more consistent and engage with all of you guys way more. I think we needed to kind of take a step back even though it wasn't planned for us to so that we could get ourselves right and mm -hmm. focus on ourselves and our family. And, and the exciting events are coming up. <laughs> Next question, another baby soon? Question mark? Mal has always said that she wanted to wait until Addie was like a year old. At least. To try again. Next question. What is he there? How are you doing? You go first. I feel better than I was before. Mm -hmm. When Mal was going through like the trenches of her postpartum depression, I was also not having a great time. Okay, I'm just gonna say, I was also very depressed during that time and she knows this. And neither of us were doing that great. But right now, like I feel a lot happier. I feel much more motivated. And I just wanna get back to like what I love doing, which is like making videos and I wanna love making videos and I am excited. This is gonna be a fun month too. In the next like three weeks, we're gonna be traveling and meeting up with like so many of our social media friends. How about you? How are you doing? I'm doing really well, I think. I. And that means a lot for you. It does, yeah. it does. And it's crazy because I actually mean it. Mm. I feel like even two months ago, Someone will ask me like, oh, how are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm good. But I like don't really mean it yet, I guess. But no, I'm actually doing really well. And I'm enjoying being a mom. I'm enjoying my day to day. And I just feel very filled up by my community and my work and my child and Cam and all the things. Like I've just been in a really good spot. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm excited. Who does everyone say Adi looks like the most? To me, she's looking more like Cam. I think everyone <laughs> pretty much collectively says that she looks more like me. I don't see it. I think she looks like me too. I think she looks like you too. It's okay. just that most people say she looks like me. Yeah, she does. Yeah. I think it's the eyes. Hmm. Kind of already answered this, but are you guys planning on having more kids in the future? I love you guys. Oh. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. That is What's the new plan. number? For me? Mm -hmm. Has, is it not three? I always said three. Yeah, three kids. That's, that's like what I want. What do you want? Well, my number changed to two and now I think I'm back up. Fair enough. To what? Like four. 
Uh, see, the problem with four kids, and by the way, if you have four children, more power to you because we might have four kids someday. I'm just saying, you gotta get like a minivan. That's to... so cool. I want a minivan. I don't want a minivan. I, don't I do. Want... Oh, gosh dang it. Next question How do you keep the spark alive postpartum? Me and my partner are struggling. I appreciate this question. Hmm. I feel like this doesn't get talked about enough, and postpartum is so vastly different for everyone. And some people bounce back at the six weeks, if you know what I'm saying. And some people really, really, really do not. And that's not talked about, and it's a weird thing to navigate. I don't really know what advice to give, because for us personally, it was rough. Like, it was so hard. Rough. Really, it took us until very recently to just kind of like focus on us again. I but think that a good piece of advice from my perspective is just like, be okay with it taking a little bit of time. Mm -hmm because it's gonna feel like the end of the world sometimes and it's gonna feel like so hard and difficult, but like there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it doesn't last forever, you know what I mean? It doesn't, and like when you think about it in the perspective of you, ha you have your whole lives to go with each other, that this is just such a blip in time, Yeah. that that really gets you through the trenches. Oh, next question. Have you taken the Enneagram test? If so, what personality types are you guys? Okay, you I think first. that's fun. I'm a two. Wing. You could probably guessed it. Two wing. Two wing three. I am a seven wing eight. Which if you know anything about the Enneagram, I feel like you could have pegged us immediately <laughs> and you would have known Mal is a two and Cam is a seven. Yeah, if you want to know what the Enneagram test is, go look it up on Google, take the test, figure out what number you are. It's kind of fun. Next question. What's the biggest challenge y'all are facing right now? Lots of love to y'all. That's very sweet, Caitlin. Matt and I just talked about this earlier, but for me, probably like content. Yes. I'm finally getting into that phase where I want to like just go crazy balls to the walls freaking working hard motivated and I want to like be at the results phase when I haven't like gone through the work phase to get to the results phase and I'm just like wanting things that I can't have right now and so I just need to find contentment in the now in my and I need to like focus on my relationship with Christ and be content in that. I think for me right now, it's probably an insecurity type thing that I've been dealing with of just my image and how I show up on social media and comparing myself to all these other women online that I'm seeing like just a lot and especially being in the spotlight too. There's like added layers to it. Hmm. And so I've just been unpacking that and I know it's a terrible thing to be comparing myself and comparison is a thief of Joy, and I know that. Next question. Do you find things are easier or harder to do with a baby? Uh, my first answer in my brain was like, oh, it's just different. But no, it's a lot harder. Everything's just harder. I love it. It's amazing. I love my daughter. But everything is harder. It takes a lot longer to get out of the house. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot longer to get, you know, really just kind of everything done. I think, honestly, it's just a lot of logistics. Going out with Addie and stuff, like, we kind of just do life with her no matter where we are. We don't really do babysitters. We just bring her with us. Mm -hmm. And that, I found, it's not necessarily harder. You just kind of have to bring yourself in the mindset of, like, I'm not going to be spending as quality of time as I would like today we went and hung out with some friends at a wine tasting thing and I Addie needed to take a nap so I just like picked her up and went over and I missed the wine tasting but that's just like the name of the game you know it's not necessarily mm -hmm. harder you just have to like change your perspective a little bit next question real opinion on being recorded during a vulnerable moment I feel like you're the one that gets recorded 90% yeah. of the time, so what do you think? I do. We've gotten a lot of flack about this, and honestly, there have been times where I'm just like, hey, I don't want to be recorded right now, and Cam's like, immediately, okay, let's do it. And you guys and will never see you those moments. You won't see it, obviously, <laughs> because we don't post You'll it. You'll only ever see the times that but, she was okay with it. But I will say, the times that we do record it, First of all, we're so used to our lives being recorded, so I don't really think twice about it sometimes. I honestly don't mind it, and I think the response that we get from people of like how they appreciate that we're real with them and makes them feel not alone, that that is way more worth it. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Next question, when do you think you'll be able to buy a house? Well, we live in California, you see, and that, that makes, complicates yeah, that things. makes things a lot more difficult. And. Uh, I mean, ideally within the next five years, I don't know. I just, 
they're just so expensive, you know? Like, we have friends that are, like, getting houses in, like, other parts of the country for, like, $200,000, $300,000 even, and they're, like, beautiful giant houses. But here, the houses are, like, mm -hmm. 800000 to, like, $1.5 million. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. crazy! All right, last question of the night before Mallory goes to the bathroom and we go to sleep. <laughs> If y'all had another kid, would you want it to be a boy or a girl? I wouldn't mind another girl. I feel like I'm already a girl dad. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I've embraced that. it. I've embraced the girl dadness, but also like a uh, boy. Okay, wait, pause. I have to say this. When we were in the car ride today, he saw a mom and his daughter walking in the rain. He was like, oh, I just want to walk with Addy in the rain. It was so cute. Oh, I didn't know that you thought of that. I just said it. I was just like, oh, cool. That's You're a vibe. so cute. How about you, boy or girl? Honestly, I'm down for all girls, but I also would love to have a boy. Cause it just switch yeah. it up. You I know? want at least one boy. That way my family name gets carried on. That's true. Well, it is because of your nephew, but anywho. Ah! Cameron doesn't know how to math, so. Yeah, that was bad. Anyway, guys, we love you and we're tired. And thanks for hanging in with us. And, it's and, been a wild ride. But... And stay tuned for our announcement because yeah. we are excited to share that with you guys. It's gonna be a big- So excited. It's happening so fast, you yeah, guys. Yeah, everything. So fast. Anyway, without further ado. Make. Sure. To. Like. Comment. And. Subscribe.